Tim LaGrange in Missouri writes, and he says, LED diffusers, that little dome that is over most of the LEDs, spreads the viewing angle of light so that the light can be seen from many different viewing angles. And he, he's right. Inside of an LED, it's just a tiny little point of light. But when you look at it with the capsule over it, you see this sort of bulb effect. And that's because of a diffuser, and it's an optical diffuser. Um, I'm assuming that acoustical diffusers spread the angle of sound. Is this correct? And how are they calculated and built? Well, I can answer the first part. <laughs> the, and you can look up online how they're calculated and built, because I, I don't remember. But if you look, a good diffuser uh, has, if you can see, that. see how this is out here, and then this one goes a little deeper, and this one goes deeper yet, and deeper still. Now it comes back. So it's making this pattern, and I'm not exactly sure how they calculate it, and then these ribs in here. But the idea behind a diffuser is exactly that. You make the sound, instead of specific, you make it diffuse. You spread the acoustic waveforms, mostly higher frequencies, but it does attract, uh, it, it does work on some of the bass frequencies. You do that so that it becomes less specific. And why do we care about that? We want the sound to be less specific so our ear doesn't localize on it. We get great imaging when we place acoustic diffusers around the room and in certain areas in the back of a speaker, especially on a dipole. Now, I use them on the FR30. I put them in back because the FR30 likes very much to have that rear wave diffuse to be spread out like his example of an LED and that bulb that diffuses the light so that it's big, but for different reasons. We're, we're, we're trying to spread the sound out so that the ear doesn't go, aha, it's coming from there. It's diffuse and the ear says, I don't have a clue where it's coming from because we can't get rid of the sound. We need that sound in the room. So once the ear doesn't know where it's coming from, it ignores it and it focuses, our brain does this, obviously not our ears, but our brain focuses more on the direct sound that we can localize and we get this amazing image. And I got to tell you, the difference between this system with the diffusers and without the diffusers is startling. It really is a huge improvement. And I, I'm not big on doing little tweaky things. It's got to be big if it's going to be in my listening room. All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later. Bye.